Okay, so like two weeks ago, I was listening to some new music and uh, there's this group, Autecker. If you know me, you know, I love them. Uh, so they released this music, uh, 19 concerts recordings from the last couple of years. There's 24 hours of music that they just released. And I was listening to it and, and really, they're just such great examples of their connection to old school hip hop music and constructions and structures and elements. And one element that serviced in a few that I listened to was scratching. And it really made me think, okay, how is Autecker scratching here? So I was thinking about scratching and how I might implement scratching. And I had this idea, this is just one way of implementing scratching in software. There's a bunch of other examples of other devices out there that do it. Most use uh, scratch samples that you kind of trigger in or layer into the sounds you're playing. Uh, but to me, that feels uh, like cheating. Like uh, I think scratching should, uh, as it does with a record, it should only involve the material that you're playing back. Um, so that's where scratch backer came from. So I kind of mad dogged this thing out over the last few days. Uh, it's been a nice exercise for me during this time. So let's check it out. So what I'm going to do is add it to my live set here. Uh, it's called Scratch Backer. And I have another one there already kind of pre-set up with a, a few things, but we're just going to go from scratch here and then come back to that one. Okay, so I'm going to add the latest version of Scratch Backer to my set. It initializes with uh, a lot of repetition here and it says drop a clip or a sample here. So I'll search for vocal. And there's one that I is using this one. Um, and so here's how it works. So I'm gonna hit a middle C, our root note is C3. Okay, that's that whole sample. And uh, maybe we can trim the end a little bit. And so if I just hold it, it'll loop. And we can do different pitches. Oh, but it doesn't do anything here. But what's that, uh, what's that funny wrinkles happening? Well, this is the essence of this device. And so if I, let me just demonstrate for you, uh, I'm gonna select this C1 next to C1. And if I play a C1, we see that something happens here. So I'm gonna hold a note, uh, middle C, and tap C1. So what this is, is this is a definition of a scratch gesture. And so if I select one here, um, over here is the larger editable version of that gesture. And so what we're hearing is it starts at normal speed, it drops to uh, zero speed, and then accelerates to fast, and then uh, kind of comes back to normal speed. And so let's listen to it here. Okay. So maybe we could reverse that. So we'll put this first note up here and this one down here. Now let's hear that. Cool. Um, so what we've got is we've got all these keys, uh, 12 keys from uh, C1 to B1 are 12 triggers for different scratch gestures. And so let's design a few gestures. So I'll go to C1. So I can just tap a key that I'm interested in if this button is engaged. This is a lot like um, the auto select in a drum rack or something like that. Um, if I disable that, I can hit different triggers without moving the selection, but this is auto select. Um, so let's do C sharp one and let's define a different curve here. So uh, shift click to on dots deletes them. Um, and so maybe we want like a wagga wagga, right? So it goes a wagga wagga. Maybe it gets a little less pronounced as you go along. So let's listen to that. Cool. Maybe we want that one to take a little longer. So we'll increase the duration. Or we want it really short. Maybe half is what it was before. So that's kind of a fun thing to play around with. So we'll find a happy medium there. 
Okay, and then let's do um, let's do one where it kind of starts from the top, kind of a jump scare a little bit. But then we'll I'll hold down Alt, and I can drag on these lines and adjust their curve. Uh, so let's listen to this one. That's on D one. Oh, cool. And then maybe we can do the opposite sweep on D sharp one. So I just hit D sharp one. Uh, delete these couple of nodes. Uh, sweep it up like that, and let's do it a little bit faster. Okay, that's fun. Um, and uh, let's do, let me show you another one that's kind of neat, um, maybe like a stop effect. And so um, we want it to go from normal speed down to no speed. Uh, and I'll show you why I'm doing it halfway here. I'm gonna set the duration to like five seconds. And then that's on E1. Uh, um, and, and so you hear it kind of get to the bottom. It hangs out at the bottom, uh, not moving at all until the end here, and then it'll jump back to zero. That's why it went pop at the end. So let's hear that again. And so I could just do a stop effect by uh, letting go of this one while it's stopped, and then it would be perfect. Um, and maybe we can do, uh, oh, it's sometimes fun to do kind of subtle pitch changes like this. Um, and that's on F1. Other things I haven't mentioned too much, uh, you have control over the loop start and end point. And uh, this button will reverse. So, I mean, you can go from normal uh, ethereal vocals to uh, something, something kind of neat. Uh, that with some scratching. Let's see, root note, uh, just it uh, lets you identify, well, if this is something of a certain pitch that I brought in, uh, then that'll help me map the keys on the keyboard. And then these two are the global duration scale, global amount scale adjustment knobs. And so, you know, if we've got, uh, let's say we're just gonna play this one. Um, if I turn this duration longer, and it'll scale all of them as I'm playing. So this could be a, a useful performance device uh, to just be working the duration and similarly the amount. That's just gonna scale uh, the effect of um, this gesture on the sound. And so if I have it at one, if I change it to a half or let's say a quarter, it's more subtle, but if I change it to like three and a half, so another real useful performance device here. Cool. So are you seeing how this is working? Uh, maybe you get some wheels turn in on, hmm, maybe I could use it for this and that. I could try it with this and that sound. Um, and so, you know, maybe one thing we could do is uh, let's just try to do some scratching because I'm street. And so uh, here we can play back a little. Oh. Men in black, save the earth from the scum of the universe. Okay, so that's the Scratchbacker. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, leave a comment, uh, send me an email. I'm easy to find. And also check out the other uh, Max for Live devices that I've got out there. I've got a bunch of stuff. I'll put a link in the description to that too. Anyhow, happy scratching. See ya, bye.